What's up, y'all? Welcome to the 32nd Veterans Park Open, sponsored by Kratom, powered by Mint Discs, and with this coverage provided to you by Mountain Sports, since they gave me the day off to come and shoot some awesome golf. After two rounds, we've got Aria Castorita in the lead at minus nine, shooting back-to-back thousand-rated rounds, followed by Holland Hanley, Maria Oliva, Carolyn Henderson, being chased down by Cat Merch, Lydia Lyons, Sammy Keddington, Chrissy Fountain, Tanya Windover, and Lindsay Langley. We're playing 21 holes today from the gold layout, par 72, almost 10,000 feet. Hole one here, 594 feet, par four. Getting the arm warmed up. This hole is sponsored by Campo Co. We've got Aria Castorita on the box. Gold tee is just a little bit back from the standard concrete tee. We've got OB right, which she's playing it super safe. We do have the road deep, but from back here, it is a crush if you're going to find the road. Wind is pretty calm right now, a little bit right to left. If you release early, you could find the parking lot, but these ladies are shooting some fantastic golf so far. I don't think that's going to happen. Got Holland Hanley next on the box here. It's flirting with the OB, but it's stabling up. I believe it hit the sponsor wall, but never in doubt that was going to come back in bounds. We've got Maria Oliva on the box next. little overturn. She's asking for it to get some height and get some ground play. The grass is still a little wet. And last on the box, we've got Carolyn Henderson. I've watched her play before. She's local. Super pumped to watch. All this golf little extra turn on that one, but that disc is stable. It's coming out of it. No sweat whatsoever. All right, Maria is up first. She is going to play the low line, flippy mid. And, oh, man, you cannot draw it up better than that. That, was, that, was that shot was sick. Aria up next. The name of this upshot is just get it under that ceiling. It's tough, especially thrown into a headwind. Just wants to lift up into the air there. Just sneaking in bounds. We got Holland going with forehand here. A little tight, but it sneaks through. There's some guardian trees really blocking the mouth of this green from that angle. Carolyn also going with the forehand, but just flips it a little too much. Curls up nicely at the mouth. She'll have a look, as you can see here. Beautiful little pitch up. She's got a nice touch with her forehand. Aria playing Plinko here, so just pitching up, getting a par, starting the day off right. little right from Holland. Carolyn a little deep. It's easy to do on this green. It's really fast. But nice correction there. Saving her par. Holland also getting a par. And Maria. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize she was that close. That was such a sick upshot. Tapping it in for a three. That is a great way to start out your day in the final round of VPO. Champ 2, 670 feet, par 4. It's backed up across this little ravine. Super tight gap to hit off the tee here. And Maria is making it look easy. She is next to the regular pad. That is a great shot. If you could pick a spot, that's pretty much what you're going to do. 
Aria second on the box, just swinging something under stable. Not flirting with those trees on the right at all that kind of reach over. If you hit those, you're dropping into the creek and you're going to have terrible footing with a blind shot that's quite a bit uphill. Holland here. This was an escape. I had to ask her after this because she got a full flight and she crushed that thing. I don't know that I've ever seen a shot better than that. I'm sure it's happened, but my goodness, she filleted that fairway. Carolyn here. Also just throwing something flippy at the left side and letting the disc do the work. A little shorter, but scooting up next to the short pad. This is this is the best card I've ever seen on Champ 2. All in the fairway and with being right here being the worst shot. Wow. Uh, at this point, I was super pumped to be here filming this because I knew I was going to watch some sweet golf. Yeah. Aria, also in a great spot. If you had a chance to just put it there and not even throw a tee shot, you're going to take that every single time. Both of those a little early, but really hard-packed fairway, so still getting some ground play. Maria's past the pad. This is awesome. Getting it nice and flat. A little too flat, didn't get that play back towards the pin. Yeah, Holland is almost to the short pad here. That is insane. Yeah, lots of rain here on Friday after the women played. Saturday the course was a little rough, but if you get a breeze and some sunshine, this course dries up really nicely. And other than some muddy tea boxes, the course is in great shape today. And Aria came to play. That is a sick birdie putt outside the circle. That was phenomenal. A little lift there from Maria. Easy three from Holland there. Nice 20 footer to clean that up. Oh no. So Maria and Carolyn getting a bogey five. Onto hole three, 500 feet, par four. Uh, it is in the island today, and you've got Obi left just outside of the woods line. You've got Obi right separating hole one. Lots of danger to be had on this hole. Really good risk-reward hole. Aria putting her... I believe that was an Orbit Grace, a Christian Tatar Grace. Colin giving it some nice height. This hole is sponsored by Du Compas, this awesome taco shop not too far from the course. If you come here to play around, I would definitely look them up. They're awesome. Nice shot from Maria. She ripped it over a little bit. It looked like it wasn't going to be safe, but it snuck in at the last second. Nice rip from Carolyn. So yeah, Maria's inbounds. She's like gonna have to run up through the sponsor wall. And she's going for it. Oh wow. And we got the green flag from the spotter. That is a terrific recovery shot to be thinking you're gonna be OB off the tee and then to put it onto the green in two. See what kind of putt she has. Carolyn laying up, and this is not an easy layup. There's hard ground, granted with the rain, it's a little softer, a little grabbier, but I tried to lay this up on Am Weekend, and I scooted right through the drop zone. Holland, a little high, a little wide. She also made the island. Oh my, wow. Right here, just a little...
get around those trees. Hopefully it sat. This green does slope down to the left, so sometimes those right hand backhand upshots tend to scoot and filter to the edge of circle at best or a possibly OB. Carolyn playing the ground well. So Aria just inside the island near the edge of circle. Boom. She puts with Opto Pures. So interesting choice putting with a premium putter, but with results like that, maybe I should putt with those. Yeah, par from Aria. Holland collecting uh, another sweet birdie. Maria with a birdie three. And Carolyn getting out through par. Uh, hole four, 239 feet. We've got the spike forehand play. There's also a, like a stall right hand backhand play. Thumber, which I doubt we'll see. This is a musket birdie. So yeah, Maria playing the righty spike shot. Oh, nice. A little body English, seeing what's going on. Holland's the furthest. Not a bad look. Another birdie. She is here to play today. She gained two on Aria. And the first four holes. Oof. Aria can keep pace here. A little left. But she's got nine strokes to play with. Don't want to give away easy ones like that, but... On hole five, 349 feet. Par three, we've got a left to right win today. These ladies are just going to try and spike something in. You don't want to be deep. You don't want to be right. You really don't want to be left either. There's lots of danger on this hole. Luckily, we've got some fantastic volunteers this weekend. Radian down, disc color, and shot. So the spotters know what to look for down there. Keep the disc hunting to a minimum. We thank them greatly. Little flipped, should be near hole sixes. Gonna take birdie out of play, but par should be in still. I'm surprised to see Carolyn going backhand here. She has such a good forehand. And ooh, that flipped quite a bit. You can see Aria on the left side of the screen, kind of on sixes fairway. Carolyn having to pitch out. So now she's throwing three. Should be serviceable. Maria stepping out, giving it a look. And Holland. Great tee shot. I do apologize, I missed Aria's upshot. This is. When I started to suspect that she is playing, oh man, that was such a great bid. So, this is Arya's par putt. Started to suspect that she is a very fast player. A ah, little left after the last one, and a little right.
Carolyn. Tapping in a double bogey here. Aria with a bogey and Maria and Holland with their threes. On to hole six, 379 feet. Quite a bit uphill and the basket's in its longest and hardest position today because you got to get to the top of the hill and then the basket is about 50 feet over the top of it. Holland's going a low backhand. It's a brilliant. I like that play. Gonna just put you in the middle of the fairway. So you can pitch over. Try and get a three. So yeah, this is a super bonus birdie. I don't I don't think anyone in the FPO field birdied this hole. So three is a good score. Ah, just a little low. That was going to be just perfect. Yeah, if she didn't kick off those bushes to her right, she wouldn't have this tall bush in front of her. She's going for it, caught another tree, dropped up on the green for the previous days. So yeah, normally the basket's just on top of that stone wall. Carolyn giving it a good bid. It's a really treacherous green on the back side. Goalaways are easy to find. Holland not giving it the height, which I like. And Maria's Almost pin high, just left on like a false fairway. And this is when I knew that Aria was a fast player because I pretty much missed her shot, but that's her opto pure, just short of the basket there. Got a spotter helping Holland and Carolyn find their discs. They probably rolled down into there. There's a like a little runoff cliff, and it is. It is thick. Carolyn's first or second shot didn't get out, caught some of the thick stuff. Holland's crawling on her belly and throwing a scuba out of there. Now Carolyn's going to kind of copy that. Still almost didn't get out. It's, if you're off the rough in veterans, it is no joke. club and the volunteers have done a fantastic job getting the course ready and clearing out greens but within reason you know you still want to leave some teeth on the course and those two found some unfortunately down there Maria great three strokes on the card there strokes on the field for sure Ari with a four Holland with a four as well. A little bit of meat on the bone here for Carolyn. Putting for six, I believe. Hole seven, 390 feet. This is another super bonus birdie. Three is gonna be the, probably the best score of the day. Got a right to left wind here, but it can swirl on this hill. Like the height. Dang. Miss on the right is better. There's lots of funky little paths. Missing left, you definitely don't want to do. Carolyn laying it up, which is an interesting play. 
and honestly a very tough play to do. This layup zone is really hard ground. It's been baking in the sun. It's fast ground. I practiced it for am weekend and I decided I would rather miss right like Arya did and just rip something than try and lay up because that is a that is a tough layup. Arya found probably the most open space over here. Just got to manufacture a little touchy flex forehand into the green which she does terrifically. Yeah. Maria down in the bottom of the bowl. Couldn't get behind her, but she is probably looking directly uphill at the basket. I bet she didn't have any obstructions. No, that disc went straight up the hill. Holland, if you could put it there, no matter where the basket is, you're going to have a look at it. Because in the short position, she's past it. In the regular position, she's got a good look at it. But that's the danger on this hole, getting it on edge. We'll see where it rolled to, but Holland. Oh, it's stuck. It probably only rolled like three feet. It might have hit that tree, but that is really fortunate. That is a great three. Maria matching, and Maria getting pin high after two. And this is such a nervy putt, because all you can see is about 50 to 60 feet of elevation behind the basket. Hole eight, 750 feet, par four. You have to clear the tree line to get in bounds here. Thrown off of the top of the mountain. And righty flex backhand is usually the play, although the wind is not helping for that shot. She doesn't like it. Oh, there we go. Now we got that left to right over the shoulder helping wind. Holland. This is, if this hooks up, that's big. Aria up next. This doesn't mean much to these pros, but this tournament is now on the Heart of Texas Tour which Mint Discs picked up this year. So a lot of the local players playing for a lot of points here. Carolyn going with the Heisers. Interesting play, because the wind is pushing it down. And she did not clear to inbound, so she's throwing from the drop zone, which is the regular concrete tee pad. Great shot. Oh my, Maria is just barely in. I want to know what that disc is. That thing is so cool looking. It's like a charcoal with a gold halo rim. Tough position over here. And you may be wondering, Maria was across the sidewalk, you know, touching the grass, but unique rules on this hole, that patch of grass across the sidewalk is safe off the tee shot. If you're still over there after your second shot, you're out of bounds. Yeah. But fantastic upshot from Aria. And Holland with the CTP for the FPO division. What a crush. Going spike forehand here. Drop. Back roll. That should be in the circle. Nice upshot from Carolyn. I believe that minty blue colored disc is a A2, I think is what she's throwing. It's what she laid up with on, or it's the same disc she laid up on 7 with. She throws that thing really well today. Holland, unfortunate to be buried in this tree. 
Looks like she had a look, though, just a little left. That would have been another great three. And Arya gets it, pulling a stroke on Holland. Maria with the four. And Carolyn with the five. Hole nine, 259 feet. This is a must get. I switched to catch cam for this hole because I'm hoping to get an ace on camera. It's looking great from Aria. Oh, and she skips through the trees. That has got to be parked. Got Maria up next. Lower shot, playing for the big skip off the ground. Little right, catches a root. That's still a great shot. Holland up next. This is also looking great. Oh, and she settles at the tree line. Still fantastic shot. Carolyn, like this width and the height. Oh. That was going places. That may have skipped long with that extra height. A little plinko, but yeah, she's inside of Arya's shot. Low from Holland. That stings. Watching Arya be almost parked. Oh man, just one little tree in Maria's way. Doinked it away from the basket. Arya with the two. Carolyn cleaning up par. Holland's going to have a tap in for par. Can Maria save her three? Oh, yeah. All right, on to hole 10. 291 feet. Par three. This is the last hole of this coverage. Playing 21 holes today, so we got the front 10 and the back 11. Back 11 should be up soon if it's not already, so go check it out. Got Aria here. Catching that last tree. I call that like the upside down broom. And that's my aiming point, either just to the right or just to the left of it, but that's the tree to miss. But Maria yanking it low can't really see it from where I'm standing but there's like a dead kind of gangly tree with these branches that poke up and they eat discs that go near them and she just split the difference getting away with one there Holland pushing it a little deep of the gap but she'll have a circle two bid at it Inside from Carolyn. San Maria. Taking a stab at it. Holland in a similar position, just inside. Didn't carry the height she was wanting, but she is on the green. Carolyn caught one of those last trees. Got a really low ceiling from back there, so that's that's all you can do is scoot one up on the ground. See if Arya can ring it up. She's going for it. Wow. Just a little short. Holland and Maria with threes. Should be threes for the whole card. Now we're headed to the open for a few holes. See how these ladies play in the wind. After 10, Aria's 
one down, Hollin, two down, Maria also one down, Cat Merch climbing up the leaderboard, Carolyn's one stroke behind her, Sammy Keddington climbing up the leaderboard a little bit. We'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.